In today's video, I'm going to teach you how to get and use the PAL condenser in PAL World. Now this is it right here and I'm going to show you everything you need to know. And before I get into it, I just want to say if you want to learn how to make money playing video games, click the link at the top of the description. There's a free guide on exactly how to do it. So let's get into the video. So to go ahead and actually get the PAL condenser, it's not as obvious as it might you might think. You actually need to go up to technology. And you can unlock this when you get to level 14, but it's not on the usual section here. It's quite easy to miss. It's on this section here. And to be able to unlock this, you need ancient technology points. And I have other videos about how to get ancient technology points, but essentially you need to um, fight bosses, I believe, to get them. So what you need to do once you've actually got to level 14, you've got the points, you click on that and then you can unlock it. And then when you press B, I believe if you go to the PAL section, it's over here the PAL Essence Condenser, and you can build that with 20 Paldium, 20 Ingots, and 5 Ancient Civilization parts. So you place it down, and this is what it looks like. It's actually very big. It's kind of ugly, but yeah. So to go ahead and use it, what we can do is we press F on it. It's going to open up a UI that looks exactly like this, and we have a few different options that we can do here. It's basically going to combine your PALs together to improve the abilities of one or more PAL. So let me give you an example here. If I go up to, um, well, you, first of all, you need five of the power, I believe it is. You need five to actually go ahead and do this. So find one that you have five on. Um, let me find one. So I'm going to use the chickpea here, and I have... I have a few here. What you want to do is first locate the one that is the best. So which one has the best stats on it? Um, for me, I think it's going to be this shiny one here. And this is going to be the base one. So this is going to be the one that um, that gets improved upon, basically. And something else to take note of is what um, passive skills it have, has. Because this is the passive skill that will... Um, get brought across if you look at the other skills as well those will also get brought across but yeah so i'm going to click on this as the base one and then i'm going to just add these guys to it as the extra ones and then uh add that one as well what you don't want to do is you you don't want to um add too many ones that have good passive skills because basically when you uh add them together they will be sacrificed. So let me show you how it works here. If I click begin condensation, it's condensed those together. So now somewhere we should have the one we've just condensed. So you can see here it's improved its skills and its, its partner skill is now level two. Um, but we've lost all of the other ones. So we had to sacrifice all of the other ones to get to this point. Now one of the ways this is actually super useful is it can actually increase the partner skill on it like a ton. Um, so if you look at the partner skill, these guys have, for example, these Lambos have fluffy shield. So it's going to increase that partner skill. Um, and this is really useful for, you know, different things. It depends, it depends what you're doing. So if you're farming, if you're farming something, then Vixies are a good one. If you're farming, um, Pal Spheres and Arrows, that's a good one to do because that will allow you to increase the level of what they sort of farm. As we go along here, you can see we can do this for any of them. So let me let me show you some more. We can do it for these guys here. We want to find the one that has the best sort of like base stuff. So Vanguard, I think we'll go for Vanguard. Yeah, so we click that as the base one. Then we can just add four different ones to it. And you can see Cat Helper goes up to level two. And then if we wanted to, we could grab this level 2 one. If we wanted to upgrade it to level 3, we would have to get 16 of its uh, of the same PAL. And that would then move that up to level 3. So you can see that very quickly this can become really OP. And if you do this for, you know, obviously some of them have better traits and some of them have worse traits. But if you do this for someone that has really good traits, you can get some really OP um, PALs out here. That are like really low level, but they have like a lot of... Um, usage. This is also especially useful when you're trying to farm stuff a bit later game. So I'd recommend giving it a go. Now one thing to note, <laughs> as I said, beware of this. If you do go ahead and actually um, sort of uh, 
condense them, you're going to lose a lot of them. So make sure they're not doing anything. Make sure they don't have any skills that you really like, that you use a lot. It's a little bit complicated to know what all the skills are. So make sure you have a good understanding of how it all works and that kind of thing. That's basically how to use it, how it all works. If you enjoyed the video and found it useful, be sure to like and subscribe. And also comment down below that the video did help you out so other people can watch the same video and get the same advice. And also if you want to learn how to make money playing video games, click the link at the top of the description and there'll be a full guide for completely free that teaches you how to do it. So thank you for watching and I'll see you in the next video.